Miss Ross, right back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And there goes that light again, my bad, y'all. Um, <laughs> and for my returning subs and my grown extended beautiful family, um, just thank you so much for just taking time out just to be able to, you know, watch my video. It's truly a blessing to be able to know that I can bless you with my situations to be able to help you figure out yours. And I'm glad, you know, the universe is being able to give me the opportunity to do that. You know, I learn off of you as you learn off of me. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I'll love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or, or your, um, um, you know, tell me about your empathic gift, um, about your impact, your empathic gift on how it's impacting your life and heading you towards positive direction. Sorry about that, y'all. That light just totally, you know, caught me off guard. Um, and if you feel like my videos have good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or a friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some trying times and need uh, spiritual assistance, spiritual guidance, or spiritual assistance, or, you know, they need confirmation or validation towards the life path or soul purpose, please go ahead and share them while you're at it. Give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, my background music that I'm using is called Let Go of Negativity, Full Body Detox, Aura Cleanse, Cosmic Energy, Healing Vibration. I'll post that link in the description box below. And today, my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, you may lose hope on certain situations, but never lose hope on in yourself and where your path is taking you. You know, there's a lot of times we go through something, y'all, my bad. You know, I, I, I ask universe to give me extra energy to project in these videos and a lot of times it gets to that point where you'll see a lot of light flashing and it is like you know my, my light like right now it just keeps on getting you know <laughs> brighter and then it gets dimmer brighter and then dimmer but um yeah you know a lot of times we go through things because we figure out we got life out you know uh figured out you know i got ocd so it's just like me i always try to you know do everything a certain way and it just get i get my anxiety gets really fixated when I don't have things figured out and it's like guys like you know the lesson about you going through this is stop trying to control everything and me I was a control freak and you know and I see where I get it from because my dad was you know that is the same you know so um, it, it, it's just like going through a lot of things you might not have the answers to everything you go through you know and there's a lot of times we have to be able to walk around you know walk away from certain things certain people certain you know things we're fixated on you know if it was meant to be it would be meant to be you know there's a lot of times where you know we, we have failed relationships it could be a friendship it can be a relationship you know with a significant other you know you have to always be able to you know if it's meant to be it'll come back you know in situations like that and a lot of times you know our situation can be so dark you know you have to be able to have faith in you know, faith in yourself and faith in the universe. They're not trying to, you know, send you out to pastures. You know, they're guiding you a certain way for a reason. It's like, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, has been with me for a long time. You know my story. You know, me trying to do my videos and find my mom. You know, I end up finding my mom thinking, oh, you know, this and this and that will happen. Then, eh, mm -mm, didn't do that. You know, and it was a really messed up situation, but I have to be able to roll with the punches. And you have to do that. You know, a lot of times the situations that we connect with can be a hurtful situation it's just like not everything is what it seems it maybe wasn't meant for you to you know connect with certain people it maybe wasn't meant for this to go the way you wanted it to you know there was a lot of times people that knew my situation didn't want me to come out and do videos on youtube like why are you telling people this you know you what about what if what if people think or you know what if they don't believe you you know this and this and that you know and it was already enough for them you know that was a hard pill for them to swallow and you're you know there was people that were in my life for 20 some years and didn't know this about me it was like it's not something i always you know sat up there and talked about there was certain things that i have to you know tell them i said there's certain things i don't know about you that you don't want to put out there so don't get mad at me because i didn't tell you about this situation even my kids you know they're kind of 
like confused about it you know they're like skeptical on certain things and it's just like I said you know if you ever notice that you know I get very squeamish about talking about my childhood you know it was a lot of dark things that went on in my life I just didn't want to relive again you know it was very painful for the things that I experienced growing up and it's just like God did not go through this experience for me to be able to project on video being able to like you know, open my life up to a lot of things that I feel very skittish about talking about. You know, there's a lot of people that I connect with, especially, you know, on Facebook. And, you know, there's a lot of people that have group pages for my dad. You know, I don't go back and tell them, hey, I'm his daughter, this and this and this and that. Because it was just like, you know, it, it wasn't something I was trying to do, brag about anything or point fingers, you know. It was just, it was just a beautiful thing for me to be able to finally know hey this is my dad I always try to wonder you know does he ever had any kids or you know oh you know I used to always say oh I bet if he had some kids you know I was so happy when him and his ex-wife had a baby you know and then you know I was like mom I always wonder you know what would happen and my mom will always say certain things up under her breath it's like I bet they have beautiful kids I always wonder you know is Prince ever gonna have any kids and stuff like that she's like you do and you bad as hell you know my mom would go walk out like what did you say oh nothing you know it would be certain things that would happen happened and it wasn't meant to be you know and it was just a lot of things that go occur in our life where we figure we got life all figured out and it's not supposed to be the way it was supposed to be that we planned it planned for us to go you know it's like what well, I look at my situation with my ex you know it's just like in certain you know where state we, we coincide at or where you resonate at or whatever we are resonance at we're like common law you know that was my husband but then it's here you know it's not so it was just like I was in a marriage without being in a marriage you know I always thought that was gonna you know I was gonna grow old with him and I'm like eh, nope you ain't about to do that you know I'm um, going through those things you know you know the hard situation to go through that toxic situation was very much a blessing to me you know, um, even though it, it was hurtful going through a lot of things, this being able to go through this, it's been very traumatizing for me. But then it took me a minute to be able to see things for what they were, you know, because I used to feel like, is God punishing me? Why is he letting me know all this stuff now? You know, there was times where I never felt like I was going to heal from these situations. No, it still sucks because I never had that closure with my dad. I still don't have answers with, you know, what happened, you know, who gave my dad those kind of fit fentanyl pills all these different things is, you know occurred I don't have the answers to you know being able to go through all these different things in my life has been very traumatizing for me but you know it, it allowed me to get my strength in places I never thought I would you know I couldn't lose focus on what God was trying to show me you know because there was times I don't sat here and bawl my eyes out until my eyes were like swole shut you know, there was things that happened in my life. I had cancer, you know, survived that. You know, my mom had passed. You know, I went through that. Yes, I healed, but it took time for me to be able to go through that. But there's times I still miss my mom, but it was a blessing because I opened up towards my gift. I didn't fight it anymore, you know, to be able to know even though they have passed, you can still be able to communicate with them. And being able to see my gift for what it was, being able to connect with a lot of people that have lost loved ones and being able to be blessed to see certain things that go on in their life and have their loved ones pass information to me to give to them that has been a true blessing so it's like my life was nothing that i planned it out to be but it has beautiful experiences in it too as well as bad ones but i know sooner or later when it's with you know when it's meant for me god will show me the answers that i truly need to know i mean it's a hurtful situation have somebody who intentionally tried to kill my dad or you know me to look at it like that of you know somebody tried to do something like that and took him away from not just his family but you know millions of people that loved his music that loved to see him the energy he put out towards different people you know music that he's put out to help people heal on certain things that struggle through certain situations it's, it's a blessing when I can connect with people and they, you know, they're okay, they're comfortable with, you know, talking to me about my dad and stuff like that. Like Rosalind, he's, you know, he's done so many things, you know, he's helped me get through a lot of struggles that I had in my life. And I said, yeah, you know, he's a beautiful person like that, you know, and, you know, I'm, I'm blessed for that to be something I can be cut from the cloth of, you know, because even though I really didn't have that, you know, connection with them, I did have that connection with them spiritually and metaphysically.
so it was just like a blessing that I can be able to connect with in that level you know and it's just like the more that I find out about you know people connecting with me telling me about certain songs certain songs that artists put out um and they say certain things about me and my dad you know that certain thing you know because there'll be some people like Rosalind you know such and such knew about you you know listen to this song and I'm just like wow you know it's just certain things they will play play out it's like they're talking about me I'm like that Easter egg they drop and I'm just like dang you know I didn't think there was too many people knew about me but my dad did get close to certain people and they got to know about certain things about him that he was very private about so it, it's just like so many things it's just like uh, you know, adventure to be able to learn more about my dad, learn about things about the background that I truly didn't know. Um, there's more things about myself that, you know, even though I suppressed it for so long, um, being able to know I connected with certain people that I wasn't even, you know, putting two and two together. You know, it was a lot of things because it was just like, you know, I see a lot of people that, you know, that has passed away. And my dad's family I wish I had the opportunity to be able to meet you know I would have loved to meet my grandparents you know love to see you know my mom used to tell me about my dad, my grandfather's band and stuff like that and how my grandmother was a, a blues singer as well you know and being able to know I didn't realize that I've talked to my grandparents you know I talked to my grandmother's twin sister a few times and wasn't even putting two and two together you know because it was like the more I start reading up on my dad and stuff like that you know went to uh, Louisiana and got very emotional you know walking down Bourbon Street and stuff like that seeing like little past live memories and stuff like that and telling my ex you know he's like what's wrong why are you getting so emotional I said I feel my family here didn't realize you know my dad's from Creole black, black uh, background black that black ground background so it's like one of my great aunts no it was my no my great 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 grandmother uh dina you know she was a slave there you know in the bayous and stuff like that migrated from france and stuff and they came to you know came to louisiana and then migrated off to you know uh minnesota and all these different things that i'm finding out of my my family it was just like wow you know i always wanted to go to new orleans and stuff like that never knew why i was like you know guided that way and didn't realize a lot of my family coincided there so it was just so many things uh, of opportunity that has unfolded to me you know being a twin flame it is just a lot of times we have connected and i didn't even know we connected we were like in the same places you know around the same time there was missed opportunity it wasn't really for us to be able it wasn't like oh you know if it, it was supposed to happen it would have happened so god allowed me the universe orchestrated certain things for me to be able to know about my family that i wasn't aware of or didn't even know you know it, it it added you know one to another so all these different things are going on in your life you know don't ever sit up here and get upset about missed opportunities or you know things that should have happened a certain way you know a lot of things we had to be able to go through for us to be able to get the experience of that you know because if it was meant to be that way it would have happened that way because there's a lot of times I used to kick myself for you know there's there's days I sat here and cry because my dad has came to visit me and it was certain things that my family were like you know hey you know we got a surprise for you and it's just like y'all are not the damn people to sit up here and surprise me you know and if it is it's, it, it's just like something just you know to be little me and embarrass me degrade me or something like that so I'm not about to come or there's times that I'll sit up here and talk to my dad on the phone and it was like before he became saved you know he was going off thinking I was my stepmom or one of her kids and didn't realize me and him going you know tit for tat on certain situations and they were like don't ever say your name if cert certain people call don't tell them who your name is and me for the first you know I'm hard-headed I ain't gonna never listen and the one time you know that I could have been able to get with my dad and that was like through the worst time of my life where I truly needed my dad and I guess he could feel things was going on because he was calling like 10, 12 times a day. And I'm seeing Nelson Rogers, you know, on Carlo ID. And this one, Carlo ID first came out. So I'm just thinking it was a man named Nelson Rogers. I'm not, you know, he didn't put his whole full name out there for it to be known that way. So it was a lot of different things that happened in my life where, you know, I used to beat myself up like, dad, you, you know, you could have been with your dad, you know, um, 
but they told you not to say your name so you were actually doing the things that they told you not to do but that would have been able to help you from the dark situation because that's when the abuse got really bad when i was you know 13 14 years old so it was just a lot of different things that went on in my life that you know universe and god is allowing me to reflect on like you know it was a lot of times when i first found out that situation i'm like did my dad know about me and then all of a sudden that here comes the stuff that I suppressed and all of it came rolling out at one time and it, it just really hit me in the most tragic way and it's just you know for my dad to be able to see it you know my um my mom and all them they can talk to me spiritually or tell me how strong I am because any other normal person would have probably went through something like that they would have probably been suicidal or homicidal on those type of things and I have to be able to congratulate myself on that because there's a lot of things I didn't know I was able to handle better than I thought I was so it's just like you might not have to you have to let go of situations where you think you can control certain things or control the outcome of that you have to be able to let the reins loose on certain situations like that and know everything is happening to you for a reason but just being able to be blessed as you're you know even though there might be some situations that will come out that might be very hurtful for you but it's not what universe is having for you for you to be punished or you feel like your feelings are hurt they want you to be able to handle the truth where you can best possibly can you know it's just like when I first started going through this and my father passed you know there was times I would see him metaphysically and he would just be there shaking his head and saying I don't know if you can handle this truth and I'm like you know what I need to handle the truth I'd rather be hurt with the truth than be hurt with the lie you know he's like uh this is a lot of dark stuff I don't know if you're gonna be able to compute with you know being able to comprehend and it was just like then finding out my family knew this whole time you know they know where my mom is they know where my dad is you know my dad would come down here and see me all these different things you know even my dad you know gave me one of his cards from his video you know on my 14 15 birthday and they made him send it back you know i'm like why would you get my card back you know my dad get you know there was somebody that gave me that you know a family member gave me that he was like no you can't have that you number one you're not old enough and number two you're not gonna have a car like that this is you know a foreign car you can't have that so it was just like all these different things is happened in my life you know that I had to experience you know um to where it is very adventurous to me now and i don't know why what kind of <laughs> light flashing is going on right now but it's feeling crazy over here see there it goes again but uh going through all these different things has really been truly a blessing to me being able to know i can be able to place this in videos for this to be something i can you know allow my kids to watch my great grand you know my grandchildren to be able to know you know all these different things i've experienced in life that really has truly brought me blessings even though the fact is i was never able to be able to connect with my dad on the physical physical but it's just being able to be blessed to know that i can still connect with him in that way you know knowing he's the, my best friend in that spiritual world that can be able to help me through those hard times um you know even though there's things that goes on you know there's sometimes he always you know he'll tell me i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry and i'm like this it's not your fault but there's times i don't step here and say i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry he says it's not your fault so we're both doing the same things but i'm just being able to be blessed being able to help myself heal you know there's some you know there's things I still struggle with you know um, that's a lot to be able to lose a family member it's always you know a bad thing to lose somebody who's you know that is a loved one that's near and dear to you um, especially if it's a parent you know but it, it's just like I feel like it's, it's a lot worse when they're in a public eye a lot you know there's a lot of different things that's being said and you know a lot of hurtful things that they project about my dad you know that's you know I have to be able to prepare myself for stuff like that you know that I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy but I already know that you know universe is allowing me to see things for what they truly are and I can't get mad at that you know I can't get mad at people's opinions because people have their opinions you know not being able to you know I can be able to vocalize my situation my experience and not have to you know worry about the opinions of others or how they choose to see me you know the people that love me or the people that are empathic and truly want to know the truth they will see <laughs> you know they will see I'm telling the truth and the things I've experienced and being able to be able to vocalize those in videos to tell people my experience but tell my 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 
my words of wisdom to be able to try, try off whatever, you know, win, heal, whatever, over certain tragic situations that's been able to apply, been applied to my life is a true blessing to me. So it's just like being able to allow myself, my, my strength to be able to unfold and, you know, and unfold in front of a lot of people. You know, it, it's not, <laughs> it's not something I expected myself to do, but you know, this is what I was guided to do. So even though there's times that you may not, you know, understand your situation or where, you know, where it might be taking you, you might lose hope on that, but never lose sight of yourself through all those different situations because it's not meant for us to know how things are going. It's just like when you know you're trying to achieve anything, it won't be worth it if it was so easy for you to be able to grab on to. Because it's like when you finally get through your situations and being able to fi finally see the blessings that you have worked so hard for, you will understand why you had to go through that situation in the first place. So I hope you are able to, you know, resonate with the content of my video. Much love to you. Um, let me give a post notification shout out to uh, Ray Fisher as well as Greg. Much love to you as well. Um, like and subscribe. Hit me, drop me a line. I would love the chance to get to, uh, to get to know you, uh, so I can go ahead and give you as well as a post notification shout out. And um, you know, like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, share, and these lightning flashes. My bad, y'all, but hey, it is what it is. <laughs> so I hope you were able to resonate. Drop me a line, give me a thumbs up, like and subscribe, share, give me a thumbs up. It's all greatly appreciated. And I will see you on my next video. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And send out as much love and positivity as you possibly can. You never know that your uh, you know your kind words can really take somebody a long way. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love, peace.